Well, it was a positive result in the end for United against Tottenham Hotspur, but let's face it, it was only Spurs and we were playing at home. Exciting, a bit like that bit in Gladiator. Were you not entertained? Uh, no, not really. One shot on target in the whole game. Uh, now, there are a lot of pragmatic United fans out there who say, well, so what? We're winning. But it's not so much the winning, it's watching a team with great players in, which we've got at the moment, and it was great to see Schweinsteiger coming on and directing, every, directing the troops, just like Brian Robson used to do. But we're playing dull football. I hope it gets better. And I keep saying that, I really do hope, but I can't see it, because at the moment it's all about the LVG philosophy. Uh, the worst one for me was watching City uh, demolish West Bromwich Albion the other night and just thinking, Ugh, this has been four or five years now, and you've got to be honest as a United fan, four or five years of Manchester City playing better football to watch than Man United. I almost feel as if somebody's travelled two million years back in time and trod on a bug and changed the course of history. It's just not right. It's Aston Villa on Friday night, so why are United playing on a Friday night? Well, apparently it's because there's an EDL march in uh, Birmingham on the Saturday. An EDL march interrupting football. What's that all about? There's no marching and waving big flags in football, except for England matches. And I wonder why they're doing it. You know, so they've cancelled United Villa from the Saturday, moved it to the Friday night. Now, I wonder what the EDL are thinking. Are they thinking, now, this is the best way to de-radicalise Muslims in the area or just make them suffer? Ha, ha, ha. You know, all these young Muslim kids going, Dad, do I have to go to the mosque? It's United Villa on. You know, maybe that's what they're thinking. Otherwise, I just don't understand it. Look, I'm all for free speech and marches, but come on. Don't be messing up football. Uh, as for the United Villa, normally one of the most exciting games of the season, but then so is normally Man United Spurs. Uh, Spurs had a go, not quite there, a little bit weak. Aston Villa, they're really going to want United's pelt. All I can see, though, is an Aston Villa tactic of hoofing it up for that big unit up front, Gostedi, and I just hope that Chris Smalling can deal with him because although Chris Smalling's a big lad, for me, the one weakness of his game is that he doesn't seem to win many balls in the air. Other than that, I think United should win. I hope we win it in some style, but I, I know that Villa will be worried about, well, they'll, they'll be looking to counteract the way that United play. So it wouldn't surprise me if Agbon Lahore goes out on the wing to use his pace and kind of track back to, you know, to stop Shaw and Young. And, also, you know, they'll use someone else quick on the other side to do the same. And then they'll play three in midfield, I would imagine, hoping that they won't be overrun. Let's hope United do overrun them. Let's hope they give us a reason to be excited.